With the 35th anniversary of the original Game Boy approaching us, I thought it'd be a great time to talk about it in a little bit more depth and just spend some time with you guys discussing what's so great about it. With the recent release of the Delta emulator that came out on iOS, a lot of people have been enjoying playing old Game Boy games and of course games from older retro systems as well. But the Game Boy series has really been something that a lot of people have been jumping into and experiencing sometimes for the first time. Now you might ask yourself, do I want to play all these games on a phone? Or would I be interested in collecting something like the original Game Boy hardware and original games? The original Game Boy is something that's very difficult to jump back into. You do require uh, AA batteries in order to operate it, which nowadays we're all just so used to using rechargeable batteries and charging everything through a USB device. I think the original Game Boy has a great lineup of games and there are definitely plenty of people out there still collecting for it and buying games that they remember from their childhood. Although there are a lot of people that never ever experienced the original Game Boy due to just not being born yet. Here's the original Game Boy and no modifications done to it whatsoever. And as you can see, the screen is pretty bad. Um, it's not any way that I would recommend people play nowadays, but the great thing about technology is that it can go back and improve older systems like this. Here I have Mortal Kombat 2, which isn't a great game by any means, but just showing you how we used to play the game back in the day. You would need to find a good source of light in order to be able to play it, and even then you would want to have to angle it in a certain way, maybe adjust the contrast wheel. And with regular technology now, we can go ahead and modify these older systems. I didn't perform the mod myself on this one, I bought it this way on eBay. But it is something if you are tech savvy enough or are really good with soldering, something you can do yourself. But if you're looking for original hardware with modifications like this, you can definitely go out and buy it and it'll be readily available. This one ran a little bit about over $100, but it's great because it has a wonderful backlit screen. It has additional options where you can go ahead and modify the way the screen looks, how big it looks, and the colors for it. Now it still only plays original Game Boy games, no Game Boy Color, but the original Game Boy has plenty of great titles to keep you busy. Here I've been showcasing a few, like Super Mario Land, and then of course we got the great Kirby series that I'll be showing shortly. Overall I think the original Game Boy is something that a lot of people can go back to and play if you're playing with modifications like a backlit screen or even a rechargeable battery as those modifications do exist. I know for many people they may think this is an ugly design or it just doesn't look great or who's going to carry this around. Honestly, the original Game Boy feels very great in the hands and very comfortable to play. With a phone it's so thin sometimes your hands can cramp up over time and if you're playing games like Pokemon for a period of time, something like this may be the best option when you're going to go back and play some of these classic titles. I of course have a bias because I grew up with this system and it's something that I really really love as people have seen with multiple videos of mine talking about the Game Boy and how great it is. I don't know what it is that keeps bringing me back to this old system. I have a Game Boy Color that's also modded. I created the, not created, but I, you know, put together the FPGBA that was from Funny Plane to play games in color. But something about the original Game Boy just screams perfection to me. And again, this is only because of these modifications now. I don't ever recommend anyone playing with the old screen because it's just almost impossible to play. But if you're interested in going back and reliving the past and playing the old Game Boy games or to want to jump into it for the first time, I definitely recommend you check out a lot more videos as well before you get into it. But also check out eBay for listings and try not to get scammed on anything that's over $100 because it's really not worth that much. There's also alternate options if you're looking for, but the original Game Boy is always going to have this wonderful place in my heart. Thank you for watching.